Hi, I'm Patty at the Cade Museum for Creativity Plus Invention located in Gainesville, Florida. Today, mothers of invention, where would we be without them? The word is serendipity. Serendipity, if you don't know what that word means, it means when something unexpected happens good out of something that was an accident. We call it serendipitous sometimes. And we're gonna tell you a story about an American inventor, Art Fry. And do you know what he invented? Post-its. And he was at the 3M company using a special type of adhesive that could be released quickly. And it also spawned ideas called Scotch Blue, which we all know as painter's tape, also made by 3M. Now, I have to tell you something. Why that pulls off is a secret patented ingredient. I don't know what it is, but it's a special type of adhesive. Now, artists and scientists love to use his inventions in all sorts of ways. And today, with a few simple household things that you might have laying around, you can use blue painter's tape or whatever color painter's tape you have, and we're gonna show you how to use it in a resist form of art that's wearable. What you're going to need for this remarkable wearable art is an old t-shirt. You can get one that might have a spot on it or it has a grease spot. You know, the type that your grown-ups don't want you to wear out, like if you're gonna visit grandma. But I'm gonna tell you something, after they see what you do with this shirt, they will let you probably wear it everywhere. The other thing you're going to need is some acrylic paint. Now you don't have to worry about going out and buying fabric paint because really fabric paint is nothing more than acrylic paint. I got these at a hobby craft store. Probably, I think I paid 99 cents a piece. I have a little palette. Don't have a palette? No sweat. Use a paper plate. Use an eggshell crate container. Anything will work to hold your paints. You're also going to need a piece of paper or cardboard to slip between the layers of the shirt so it doesn't bleed through, the paint doesn't bleed through to the other side. And the star is the blue painter's tape. Select your colors. Slip your paper between the layers of your shirt just like we did on a previous episode. What I decided to do was make an abstract image using the painter's tape. Now I started ahead so we wouldn't have to wait for me to work. But you see how I'm just laying it on the fabric? Wherever I paint, and if it goes on the blue painter's tape, the blue painter's tape will resist the paint from coming onto the fabric and it'll leave a white spot behind. I'm gonna show you something. I'm taking my paint and I'm gonna paint like this. So while I'm painting, I want you to start painting and we'll compare and see where we're at when we reveal and remove the resist, which is the blue painter's tape off the painted shirt. All right, I did my design and I have my brush cleaning right there, my little water container. Now I'm gently going to take off the painter's tape. Now, resist the word is kind of interesting because the word resist means to stay away to keep away to avoid so right now you can see why we call this resist painting because we're keeping the paint off the t-shirt your designs are going to be much more better than mine but i'm giving you the basic idea of how to work with this, and you will use your creativity. And when you use painter's tape, 
bank of art fry and 3M post-it notes and a little help with a special adhesive that we still use today and making art. <laughs>